so today we will start with the skull so you are seeing here normal rated normal red lateralis normal lateralis means you are viewing the skull from its lateral aspect so first we see what are the bones going uh, what are the bones you see from the lateral aspect so first you are seeing the frontal bone this is squamous part of frontal bone and this process is zygomatic process of frontal bone these are the nasal process of frontal bone so frontal bone squamous part and its zygomatic process and nasal process this is parietal bone is external surfaces can be from the lateral view this is temporal bone in temporal bone you can see mastoid part uh, tympanic part stellate process and zygomatic process of temporal bone this is zygomatic process of temporal bone you can also see occipital bone behind and <coughs> in front you can see zygomatic bone maxilla nasal bone here you can see nasal bones and this is mandible so if we conclude the important features of normal lateralis you are seeing the two important lines here so it is clearly you can view from the lateral lateral aspect so these lines start from the posterior uh, posterior superior border of zygomatic bone this is posterior superior border of zygomatic bone so first you can see what are the processes of this this is the body of zygomatic bone this is frontal process of zygomatic bone this is a uh, pronto zygomatic suture this is temporal process of zygomatic bone and you can see this is the antero superior border of zygomatic bone and this is antero inferior border of zygomatic bone which forms join which joins with the maxilla this is maxilla and this is suture between zygomatic bone and maxilla this is posterior inferior border of zygomatic bone and if we discuss about the surface of zygomatic bone this is external surface of zygomatic bone and this is orbital surface it also forms the part of the orbit so it has also orbital surface and temporal surface you can see behind there is also one border of zygomatic bone which is left that one is posterior medial border so this is posterior superior border one more border is posterior medial border posterior inferior border antero superior border antero inferior border so you can see that the temporal line starts with the or it is a continuation of the posterior superior border of the zygomatic bone you can see there are two lines one going upward and backward and again downwards and fades away and the another line which runs just below to the superior line runs backwards then downwards then again forwards and continues as a supra mastoid crest crest this is supra mastoid crest and continues as a superior border of the zygomatic arch then it continues like that so in this temporal line inferior one is called inferior temporal line and uh, the above one is called superior temporal line the <clears throat> the depression what you are seeing in the side of a skull this depression is called tempor temporal fossa temporal fossa bonded above by the temporal lines and behind also by the temporal lines and uh, inferiorly by the zygomatic arch and medially by the infratemporal crest of greater wing of sphenoid bone so this is the part greater wing of sphenoid sphenoid bone and this surface is temporal surface of greater wing of sphenoid bone you can see here there is a h shaped region h shaped region found by the <coughs> meeting point of it is the meeting point of four bones you can see frontal bone anteriorly parietal bone from behind a squamous part of temporal bone and greater wing of sphenoid these four bones meet 
at this place and form the H shape from suture here. This region is called terion. This region is called terion and this is the important viva question. In the posterior part you can see that this suture is called parieto. This is mastoid part. This whole part is mastoid part and this is mastoid process and this is parieto mastoid suture. So this parieto mastoid suture, this is lambdoid suture and this is ospito mastoid suture. So meeting point of all these three bones here is called asterion. This is sterion, this is asterion. This is also important viva question.